Fast and Furious 6, Taylor's favorite movie of all time. This one took me like six different viewings to get all the way through it. <laughs> That's always good. That makes movies better. It was like I could only watch like 15 minutes at a time. Yeah. It was it was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, okay, so this one starts with I believe they, they kind of make it look like it's a chase. But they're going to the hospital, right? Well, they're coming to the home where she's giving birth. Right. Okay. So she gives birth to Paul Walker's uh, child. Yes. Which I, do they give a name to? They just, I don't think they give a name. They're like more concerned. Does he like Skyline or does he like Chargers? Challenger. Yeah. Charger. And it's like, well, what's what? the baby's He's name? Like, the Toretto. <laughs> like, He's also a baby, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, um yeah and so, so this one i have a hard time drawing the lines of who works for who mm-hmm. and who's doing what where <laughs> okay <laughs> well that that oh. helps me to answer the question and what what do you mean who's working for who like the rock is mm. still working but he's also working with vin diesel and paul walker yeah so the rock Okay, there. This is a. They they have a device, right? That's like a a computer chip that can control satellites, I believe. Yeah. In the commentary, Justin Lin says, "This was just a MacGuffin. This was only to move the story forward." I I knew I didn't. We didn't want to focus on this, and I take pride that we only bring it up one time. Mm-hmm. And it's like. The issue with MacGuffins is that attitude. MacGuffins in themselves are not bad, right? And a MacGuffin is a a device or an item that drives a story, right? It's uh, the ring in Lord of the Rings. It's, you know, it's the things that the characters need to have to save, to fix a problem. And it's like, you know, he's like, yeah, MacGuffins are bad. So I didn't want to focus on it. It's like, no, MacGuffins are bad when you don't focus on it, when you don't make it logical, when you don't earn the fact of it. But he was just like, I only care about the stunts. <laughs> and so they don't ever really bring it up. But The Rock is looking for that. And he finds out that Letty's still alive. And so he goes to Vin Diesel and is like, hey, I need your help to get this thing back. You need to get your team together. Shows a picture of Letty. And Vin Diesel's like, all right, let's do it. And he gets a hold of everyone and hooks the team all back together and tells The Rock, you have the greatest team on earth in front of you. Now give him a reason to stay. I'm like, when did you guys become the greatest team in the world? Like, I get one thing. I hate that they're like world, like renowned yeah. criminals now. I get that Vin Diesel might consider his team to be that, right? To him, in his heart, they're the greatest. But yeah. the movie is trying to tell you that as well. Like, this is, there's no one better. And even The Rock, The Rock says it a few times, like, this is the best team imaginable or whatever i don't remember what he said exactly but it's like this idea that they are amazing yeah because now they're like military trained fighters they're martial art experts they're perfect drivers they can hack into anything like there's nothing that they can't do they're prepared and equipped for every situation that comes at them the only thing they can't do is entertain me (laughs) <laughs> um but they have in this one so the rock is now working with them he's kind of like uh directing them and they're doing it for immunity for everything because paul walker has a weird turn in this movie where he's like man it's weird you know you got everything you got the beer you got the grill it's just <laughs> not home yeah and it's like whoa, whoa wait you didn't grow up there. You didn't live there. You spent a week or two with them in the first movie. Like that's not your home. You ran away to Florida. Then you got your job back with FBI, but you weren't like living back in LA. You weren't a part of that world anymore. Right. Like his turn of like, we just, I miss home, man. This isn't home. This isn't right. This isn't what it should be. Doesn't make sense. Like they really, I, I think the idea was like now that he's a father, he's like, 
I don't want this life of hiding anymore. But maybe stop being a criminal because <laughs> you used to be a cop. Just do that. Yeah. But they Instead, don't. Instead, you break Vin Diesel out of prison, which I don't know how it works if you haven't technically made it to prison yet. But I know that if you like escape prison or even attempt to escape, they will tack on like 20 years to your sentence. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. It, it would be like, a big deal. If, I don't like I said. I don't know how it works if you're in transport to prison. If like, it's pretty sure it's different. the same thing. You all got twenty years. Yeah. In addition to his what life sentence? I I don't remember what it was. I think it was long. I don't think it was life. It's like twenty years. I think Something another like twenty years. Yeah. So he. Yeah. No. It's it's not good. But they live somewhere where they couldn't be extradited, and they had enough money that no one had an issue with them. What has Vin Diesel done for Paul Walker to make him like risk everything to save him? Their family. How, Why, do, you not, how do you not get this, Taylor? It's family. They're family because Paul Walker pretended to be family at the beginning. <laughs> it's all about family, like, Taylor. It's just stuck. Vin Diesel is the patriarch. He's the most important. He's the one. Okay. He's the respect you need. You don't know anything uh, about respect, uh, you idiot. It's so dumb. I'm going to need to pause for a second. I need right. a drink. I need to wash this down because this right. is I'm gonna garbage. Get some, I'm going to get some coffee too. Hang on. I think the last thing I said was you're a big dumb idiot. Does that help you remember where we were in the conversation? I'm a big dumb idiot for continuing to watch this stupid <laughs> There's movie. only two more, Taylor. So far? Yeah, but the next one. If, if there's another one, it probably won't be for a year. So it won't be like back to back like this. Aren't you curious, though, about what happens when Paul Walker dies? Like, how all that gets resolved and what they do with that? Not really. I don't know, man. Are you eating something? I'm eating some string cheese, okay? <laughs> how do you eat the worst things to be on mic with? <laughs> I'm just... is, is string cheese on uh, the... Yeah, string cheese is pretty bad because it's cheese, so it gets your mouth all gummy. You're like, I'm just, a good thing to eat on podcast. Nothing, but you choose like the worst things, like a piece of bread. That wouldn't Sorry, be so my mouth bad. Was gummy. <laughs> a piece of bread wouldn't be so bad, but you're like, I'm just eating some rock candy. What's wrong? Hey. All right, you ready to get back into it? None of that matters. The internet's yeah. starting to shut down. That's not good. Okay, so this movie. Hang on. So, sorry, we just took a break real quick, but we're getting back into it now. What are we saying, Taylor? Here we go. This movie sucks. You love this movie. Don't lie. Uh, one this of the things. This one was hard for me to watch. This one was tough. Uh, because there's so many things like the whole team being uh, a mirror of the other team. It's like you had the the big strong guy who was Hobbs. Mm -hmm. You had the smart guy. I like that big dude busy. though. Yeah, he was cool. That dude was was massive. Yeah. Holy uh, cow! <laughs> but I hated the nod to that. Like it's one thing to do it right to right like as a a filmmaking device to have like a um a mirror image of them but they like yeah. hit it so hard and they just have tyrese just come out and say it directly they're like oh this is you and this is me and this is him and this it's like yeah how dumb are you why would you put that in your movie like you you can do things subtly you can do something overt subtly and it be okay mm -hmm. right like a a clear you know mirror image of the team but the, it's, when it's you like point it out, of Seinfeld, where there's like the Bizarro Jerry. Did you uh -huh. see that one? I know. I don't. Watch Elaine that has like Elaine has a boyfriend who is pretty much Jerry. A, like the opposite. It's Jerry, but like in an alternate universe. Yeah, but they're like you know nice, and they don't they're not terrible to people. Yeah, and his best friend is the same, looks just like George, and his neighbor is Kramer. They're it's like they're identical. It's the yeah. Bizarro versions, what they call them. But it, that's like that's, that's a Seinfeld joke. episode. Yeah, like it's, that makes that's sense. It's like they based this <laughs> off of that episode. This movie should not be a Seinfeld episode. 
Mm. <laughs> I will say this. Yeah. I did kind of enjoy Ludacris and uh, Tyrese in this movie. Yeah. No, they're great. I think they are the standouts. Um, I think, yeah, they, they had just a couple of like one liners, little here and there, like funny moments. Mm-hmm. I think The Rock was good um, in this one, too. He wasn't as bad in this one. He didn't say any stupid things like, now hit me with the veggies. <laughs> He's like, you better watch out for that big old forehead. Well, so that was one of the, the parts. He's walking up at the end. and Okay, can we talk was, about the end first, first now before I forget? Go ahead and say what you're going to say, but I want to get back to it. I think it was Tyrese makes a joke. Oh, like, something about hide, hide the baby oil. Yeah, he's like, Mia, you better hide your baby oil. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm just kidding. And then The Rock says, what was it that he said about his forehead? You better hide that big old forehead. And then he was just like, uh, okay, I was just joking, but whatever. <laughs> so that was all got, like, improvised. <laughs> yeah. That was improvised by that. The Rock. Um, I didn't that's why, get it. But... Well, I was just saying he's got a big forehead. Like I think he was going to shoot him in the head. Um, Ow. That, But Ludacris' reaction was legitimate. When he spit everything out, he did the spit take. <laughs> the spit that was a funny spit, yeah. Um, but, but the but end. That, so everything happens. They win. They beat Shaw, who's a super, you know, dangerous guy for them. <laughs> He's on the same level as Vin Diesel. It was unbelievable. Yeah. You, could you ever imagine someone as smart as Vin Diesel? Um, but <laughs> Vin Diesel and The Rock have this moment. <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> when they. <laughs> where they they're oh, talking to each I, other I, Wait, took, hang on. I took a Let, screenshot i took a screenshot of this they, it's so bad they stand they're standing they're talking to each other kind Wait, of from a, an the angle they're standing? Well, hang on <laughs> the, awful. they're originally they're standing like if you're sitting at a table for four right and i'm in one yeah. corner and you're in the opposite corner you can have a conversation yeah. except we're also one foot apart from each other yeah they're like really close but then Vin Diesel takes a step. So he's out of The Rock's eye line. He's like, I never thought I would work with a cop. And then The Rock takes a step past Vin Diesel. So now they're standing back to back having a conversation. He's like, I never thought I would work with a criminal. No, he's and, like, he says, you're not bad for a criminal or yeah. something. <laughs> oh. But the, the angle is so stupid. I took a screenshot because I was watching on my phone. It the, the, the part that I got made it look like the rock was talking to a small child. <laughs> like he looked huge next to Vin Diesel's, like the back of Vin Diesel's little head. Just the way that the camera, I was like, this is the stupidest shot that I've ever seen in my life. I don't know. What, what is this? I have no idea what they were thinking. I, that, that one scene was why I watched the director's commentary for this movie because I watched oh, again. Boy. I know I've brought this up a couple times now, but I watched the first three and Justin Lin, basically just said the exact same thing in each of them but then when i saw that scene i was like oh i i gotta i need to know what why that happened yeah what was his thought process behind it? and he just didn't say anything about it oh, also no. uh we didn't talk about in fast five i just realized uh-huh. uh vin diesel slingshotting himself off of his car to catch oh no that's in this one that's right that's, that's in, in this one, one. That's, oh that's, that's another one Oof. That one's come. I, I thought we somehow skipped over that, but no, that's in this movie. Um, but yeah, no, that that final moment between them was so dumb. It, that was really bad. Yeah, is there's a few th- things in that whole thing that I have a problem with. That we'll come back to it. If you want to rewind, <laughs> yeah. if you okay, so to set up though, going back in Fast Five, mm-hmm. Vin Diesel at this point still thinks that Letty's dead. Yes. So he's kind of got this like tension with uh, the agent, the blonde. I don't know her name. Yeah, I don't remember uh, her name. With, with the, the Rock's partner or whatever. So that was something I uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but they, they do the same thing from four to five as well, where they end it with Gal Gadot and she's not really a part of the team. Not it's just like just a side character. But in the next one, it's like they have this deep relationship. They do the same thing with the blonde girl where she wasn't ever a part of the team. He saved her that one time, but that was it. And then now they're just sleeping together at the beginning of this movie. And it's like, where did this come from? How am I supposed to keep up with this? So, okay. Yeah. It's so it's, it's dumb. 
but whatever. Also, at the same time, Han and Gal Gadot are together. What was her name? Um, um uh, G- Gazelle, oh. Giselle, Giselle, Giselle. That's mm-hmm. right. They're they're a couple, which is Why? weird. But Justin Lin always talks about them like they're the coolest people in these movies. Like, Why? Every time I see them, I'm like, man, they're so cool. I don't because they don't do anything. I don't know. <laughs> they're but, like, but knowing that this movie leads up to Tokyo Drift, yeah. I was like, oh, she's gonna die. She's yeah. dead. Mm-hmm. What, so uh, that was. We should let's just talk about her death scene since uh, we're already here because that's another moment mm-hmm. I don't want to forget about the stupid death scene. The whole that whole okay. How first of all this this airplane thing. Mm-hmm. How long is this runway? Fifteen miles. Someone did the math. It's like seven miles long. It's so ridiculous. Based it's on the time and the speed that they're going, they're like that runway it's taking off for so long would have to be seven miles. But yeah, so they oh. Han and Giselle are in a car that's being towed by the airplane because they're trying to stop the airplane from being taken off. So Which they, I, I do actually want to talk about one other thing real quick before that with the whatever that grappling hook gun thing is. Mm-hmm. I thought it was funny when they were messing with it and then they shot it and almost hit Vin Diesel. Yeah. I I, I know. I mean, it's <laughs> obviously, you know, that's coming. Yeah. Because he's like, oh. Oh, did I lose you? Hello. It's like these movies okay. are cursed. Yeah. Are you there? There you go. Right. Yes. Yeah, so they're uh Han and Giselle are connected to the airplane, getting drugged behind it, and Han is holding on to Giselle and he's like, I won't let you go. And it's like almost like symbolic of um uh Titanic. Titanic, right? That's weird, right? This is where I'm like, oh, so she's definitely dying right now. And this is where this happens. The bad guy stands up over Han's back and Giselle makes the decision like I have to sacrifice myself to shoot or to to kill him to save Han. So she just lets go, and pulls and out her gun, levitates and pulls out <laughs> her gun, and pops the dude a couple times before disappearing. She it doesn't even show her hit the ground. She just exactly. like so fades into she's smoke. Probably gonna come back later at some point. Yeah, maybe it's not like beyond <laughs> possibility. But it was while it's a cool idea. It nope. looks so stupid. It looks well, like, stupid because it was stupid. No, I, it's a cool idea to be like him holding on to her to keep her safe and then her sacrificing herself to save him, right? But for her to pull out her gun to get a couple shots off in all the time it would take, like, it just, I don't know. It should have been something else that she it should have been a different movie where like maybe the guy grabbed a hold of her and is holding on to her. She's a holding on a Han and she lets go for whatever reason. So they both go. Cause yeah, the guy's about to like shoot over her shoulder to get Han or something like, you know what I'm saying? Something along yeah. those lines where it was like not, not her being just magic, you know, and like flying in the air to shoot. Also, she had like so, super insane fighting abilities in this movie. Of course. She's like a ninja. Oh, actually, I want to talk. <laughs> I want to go back for another second. Yeah. To number five. Okay. When they're putting the crew together, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And him, uh, Han and Gazelle are like at a restaurant or they're eating or something. Wasn't that this and one? Then, that was this one. I don't think. Was it this, this one? one? Yeah, I don't know because I, I started this one last week and I finished it today. <laughs> no, it was this one. They they get approached and then they like do this stupid move where they're both like pulling out a gun at the same time over like, each other's shoulders. Over each other's shoulders. It was, <laughs> it was so stupid looking. Man, oh I, my goodness, I hated it. I had someone shoot a gun over my shoulder one time. We were uh-huh. we were hunting rabbits and he saw it and he like put it on top of my shoulder and shot. Like without asking me, without any warning. But the my ear was right next to where the ejector is. Yeah, and it destroyed my hearing. Like, oh yeah, it. I like, um, my equilibrium got all thrown off. I couldn't see straight. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna be deaf now. <laughs> For them to like put guns next to each other's head to like 
start shooting, you would lose so quickly. It would kill each other. But yeah, no, that was definitely at the beginning of this one. That was, okay, so that was a uh, real st- Vin Diesel starts calling everyone after he sees a picture of Letty. And yeah, Han yeah. and uh, Giselle are eating in like Koreatown or Chinatown or something like that. Uh, Tyrese is on the airplane with the models. Um, Lud- oh, yeah. Ludacris that is in the That was kind of funny, too. That was kind of funny, too. He was like, he's like, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to have to turn this plane around. But I do have, he's like, oh, it was. I have vouchers. It was something to be, yeah, he, he was just being cheap or something like, yeah, trying to make it sound like he's got this great thing. And it was like vouchers for a buffet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't even know where to go. So Letty is brainwashed. She has amnesia because the guy who because supposedly amnesia. killed her in number four felt pity mm-hmm. on her and shot the car and the car blew up and blew her. And it blasted her to safety. <laughs> like that's what that's what i was i was watching i'm like okay you could have easily just killed her inadvertently by doing what you did well you why? could have just not shot anything yeah why did he do any of it but yeah instead he shot the car blasted her to safety so she could live uh that was so so dumb but then on top of that if uh, you go back to the fourth oh, wait, movie wait 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 uh, it's important to my annoyance yeah. of this movie. Um, he says, cause Shaw, the bad guy in this one finds Letty in the hospital. Brian yeah. says, so Letty was working for Braga, who's connected to this guy who is connected to Shaw. So for Shaw to find her in the hospital makes complete sense. And he, that's a line that he uses just to manipulate the audience into thinking like, oh yeah, this all adds up. Not because it makes sense. Only because he said it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's like, uh-huh. oh yeah, no, that, that that makes sense. That makes sense. And it's like, no, it doesn't. None of this makes uh, sense. No, Don't act no, like it no, makes sense. Don't try to trick sense. me. But anyways, what were you gonna say? Back to four. If you go back to four, that guy was bragging about killing her. Yeah. Like if if uh, it's just so stupid. Like, like and the, that's the thing. That's why I thought when Letty came back, I thought it was a different director. But this is all Justin Lin. He decided to kill her. He decided to bring her back. And he decided to bring her back the way he did. And he's just like, yep. eh, who cares? Like, I know it's weird, but just get over it. And it's like, oh, you're That's the so worst. Stupid. You're so annoying. Yeah. So, uh, so she's alive. We've seen her. Yeah. I want to talk about the, the the scene on the with the tank. Yeah. Um, was there well? Is there anything else before that? Anything important? Like they get in a couple fights with Shaw's crew. One of Shaw's guys dies, and Letty's like, "Oh, yeah. he died," and he's like, "Oh, that's too bad. Don't make mistakes." And he's like, yeah. basically, he's the exact opposite of Vin Diesel. They're like, Vin Diesel's like, it's all about family, and Shaw's like, it's all about effectiveness. Oh, no. And it's just like so transparent that they're trying to like play off of that. And it's like family motivation doesn't even make sense. So Shaw's motivation feels even worse. And like, I don't know that. that well, because to you, everyone that you meet is just you let them into your inner circle yeah. and their family. <laughs> just instantly. Even when they betray you, they're family. <laughs> yeah. Who's uh, <laughs> family? It's bad, man. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, they're trying to stop Shaw. Shaw's always one step ahead. Brian goes to prison for five minutes. He flies back to America, goes to prison, gets out of prison, comes back like no so issue. Just to talk to Braga, and right as as if Braga, <laughs> this freaking criminal mastermind, is like. Oh yeah, this dude who put me away. Let me just tell him everything because yeah. he's probably he's in prison. So what? This doesn't seem fishy at all. <laughs> he, uh, Justin Lin said in the commentary. Yeah, a lot of people complain about this, and they said it was pointless that Brian did get any concrete, but he did. He realized that you know, Shaw would only let people in see him if that's what he wanted them to do. 
And I was like, are you kidding me? That's not, that's not like solid information. Like that's, no. that's a, that's an easy expectation of a super criminal. Like, oh yeah, they're probably like pretty good at doing what they do. Like that's all that Brian learned. It was just dumb, man. This one, this one was the hardest one for me to watch. I remember you kept telling me six is where it turns a corner. I, well, I thought it was it seven. It turned a corner into getting worse. Yeah. I, well, I thought it, okay, seven, seven and eight should be a good time. Other than yeah, know, I don't believe Paul Walker dying. But uh, we'll see. Um, So the tank. The tank. The tank. They're just blasting people and <laughs> running into people. I don't. What was their motivation? Just to cause havoc? Well, they had the chip was in the the convoy. The tank was also in there, so they got in the tank. But they to were going the out of their way to murder people. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. They're trying to escape. I don't think they cared about the murder. It seemed like he was intentionally running into vehicles. That still had people in them. Yeah, but th- so this is them. this is Shaw. This is the main bad guy. So for him to yes. do bad things isn't like a stretch. No, but most times when you have a criminal like him, right? They they have a reason for what they're doing, yeah. and they're not intentionally going out of their way to hurt innocent people. Like if it if they're in the way, fine. But like they're not just like on like a rampage. I mean, there were in his way. Like, it wasn't like he was... I don't feel like he was going out of his way to run people over. That's what it felt like. But then, why are all these people getting out of their vehicles? Yeah, that was weird. Especially, been, it's like they were doing it from like half a mile up. They're like, oh, better bail. How do you even know what's going on behind you? <laughs> what was more confusing to me was, uh, why didn't Tyrese get ran over? That, yeah. There's, Everyone was getting crushed, and he was just getting bumped. He was getting pushed. He was in front of the tank. The tank shoots in front of him, and so he slams on his brakes and slams into the tank. But then the tank just pushes him. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. Um, but so they use – so Tyrese ends up jumping out of his car into another car. Then his car gets crushed, which, of course yeah. – uh, but then they're like, it. His car is now attached to the tank because at some point someone shot one of the uh, connection things to it, mm-hmm. and uh, they're like, "Oh, well, let's use the Mustang." You think of what I'm thinking? As use an a anchor. car as an anchor. Yeah. Well, that like that yeah. was one of the things they're like, "He's got a tank. What do we do?" And Paul Walker's like, "We do what we do best: improvise." And I was like, "I thought what you guys did best was drive." Yeah. Remember that when that was the the story I was i'm like, gonna say there's a there's way too many like people jumping from one vehicle to another like flawlessly yeah in this thing that's got to be so hard to pull off and like you're still landing hard yeah on something that is going very fast yeah. and you have like a millisecond to grip onto something or you're gonna be <laughs> thrown off yeah. and run over yeah no for sure mm-hmm. so they're super but even worse than that is they finally have the anchor, the Mustang anchor. They knock it I off the like bridge. I feel like that's not going to do anything. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that the connection would break. I mean, they talked about how the tensile strength of that cord was so strong that maybe it would cause an issue, but not stop it. You know, it might no. be like a big bump, but I think something would give. You know, like the car itself is not that strong. So whatever right. anchor point you got it on that would rip just rip off the car it would yeah exactly like it, that would be it the car would be even probably just the weight of the car getting thrown off the bridge would probably be enough to rip it off but whatever yeah like, i'm sure that that cable is strong but not at the connection point yeah, it, yeah. It, it, which is what you're saying so uh, so stupid but so letty has climbed out so we find out that she has amnesia and is now working for the bad guys she shoots vin diesel at one point but she's like, they keep bumping into each other somehow, like in these movies, yeah. which is dumb. I don't like when, if you have a villain, you have a good guy, they should never meet and not have conflict. You know what I'm I saying? Hate, yeah, I hated how many times they met with Shaw and not, like nothing came out of it. Nothing really happened, yeah. Um, 
But so then Letty's trying to disconnect the cable from the tank. Vin Diesel's like, oh no, I know exactly what's going to happen because I'm a super genius now. So he climbs out of his car. He calculates it perfectly. And she, the anchor car smacks into the wall, stops the tr- uh, the, the tank. Letty gets thrown off the tank, which I think was kind of a an interesting use of all that, right? It would have been cool for that just to have been a villain, like one of the bad guys, like have him yeah. get thrown off. But Letty's getting thrown off. Vin Diesel crashes his car onto the opposite side, gets thrown off of his car, catches her in midair, lands on the truck on the opposite side, and they're both alive. And then later in the movie, how did you know there would be a car to brace our fall? That's not how, who would have, like, it should have been like, how would you have known there would have been a million pillows set up perfectly? Like, landing into a car windshield, going that fast? It would kill you anyways. Kill you. <laughs> like yeah. I'm so oh, this 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 metal vehicle broke our fall. We're fine. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> yeah, she's like, how'd you know we wouldn't just bounce off the concrete and be okay? You knew that there'd be a car here. And he's like, sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith. Like so oh bad. yeah, sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work out and you two are <clears> smeared <throat> across the highway. Yeah. And that was supposed to be the turning point for Letty. She realized, like, oh, well, he'll do anything for love when Sha won't do anything for people. I will do anything <laughs> for love. But, so now they, they've caught the guy. They got the, the MacGuffin, and everything's good. It seems like the movie's over. Then you find out, no. Oh, this that is, The nightmare continues, <clears throat> and the movie is not over yet. This is something you may not know. This is going to be two movies. This was originally going to be The Fast and then another movie, The Furious. So Gosh, the names alone are so stupid. This this set piece was originally going to be the end of The Fast. Then The Furious was going to end with the plane scene, but they just they didn't do that for whatever reason and they just used both back to back. So Shaw oh. says, "We've kidnapped Mia." You know, you're going to let me go. I'm going to take this device with me. You're not going to do anything to stop me. And the only reasonable person was like, no, that's not happening. Like, yeah, we're, it sucks that he's got a hostage, but we can't, we're not trading in the world for one hostage. And the rock is like, pulls out a gun, puts it in his forehead. It's like too bad. That's what we're doing. And the guy's like, okay, I guess. Yeah. Shaw gets away. Ludacris ends up blocking everything with magic, I think. Like, hacks into magic and uses magic to stop him from being able to call anyone. Yeah. Um, and then they chase him, and he's trying to get on an airplane. Mia is also on the airplane. They save Mia. Giselle dies. They make the airplane crash, kill everyone. Everything's Let's good. Let's talk about the conversation Han has with Giselle before that. They're like, what do you want to do when we're done? No. And she brings up Tokyo she, this time. Like, like, you always talk like, about Tokyo. Let's go and settle down. He's like, okay, what'd you have in mind? Tokyo. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot. I was supposed to go to Tokyo like two <laughs> years ago. I hear they're drifting out there. So this is eight years in between. Tokyo drift. Eight, uh, well, eight years? it was eight years of production at least. So oh, okay. it's probably six years. Uh, I'm talking about when the movies came out. Yeah. In between the movies. Let me, I'll look it up real quick. So, oh, so dumb. <laughs> Do you want to say anything else? I'm sorry. I'm looking this up real quick. Okay. Well, okay. So, I'll, so she's dead. Han decides he's going to go to Tokyo. He's got to do this now. Because like now that she brought it up, this is what she always wanted. So he's got to fulfill that. <coughs> so we get to the end where the rock is basically like, all right, you guys are free. You know, name your price. And Vin Diesel says like 1937 or whatever the house number yeah, was. Yeah, 1376. Sure. I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, in my head though, 
these are criminals and all this thing, everything that they're doing is for money. Really? He's not going to ask for any money. This is the stupidest thing. Why hey, you can ask. <sighs> they're already millionaires though. You think, and that's enough for criminals. You think, well, they get to be millionaires and be free. So that seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, no. to- Tokyo drift came out in 2006. And Fast and Furious 6 came out in 2013. So from as an audience member, it took seven years for Han to finally die. And he dies in the post credit scene in this. Which I'm going to talk about. (laughs) So anyways, they don't ask for any money. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. But then the next scene is when they're at their house and it's the barbecue or whatever. Yep. And then The Rock shows up. And he's talking with Vin Diesel, and uh, <laughs> the best scene so ever. The, the <laughs> it's so weird, and the blonde is there talking to Letty. Mm-hmm. Someone makes a comment like, "Oh, it's gonna be awkward," and then they're talking, and then I don't remember exactly what was said, but basically, she, it, Letty says something like, it "Takes an amazing woman to do what you did." Blah blah blah, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> she straight says like. Well, he's an amazing man. Yeah. I'm like, based on what? Based on How Vin Diesel writing that line. Man? That's what that one is. He is a criminal <laughs> who has probably killed so many people with his actions throughout these movies. He has done nothing redeeming. Mm. The only thing that they're doing is like fixed. Like they're trying to get free to make up for their past mistakes. <laughs> they're not doing anything like good. What on earth makes him an amazing man? Well, I thought that is the <laughs> stupidest line. I thought um, Ludacris actually had a good line in that vein earlier in the movie where um, the rock is laying everything out about the, the MacGuffin that they have to get, the device they have to get. And he's like, this will sell for billions on the black market. And Ludacris is like, billions? Why don't we just steal that? Like, he's like, we're doing all this stuff anyways. Why don't we just steal it instead of trying to get it back for the government and then we can sell it? I thought that was funny. Yeah. Also, good luck finding anybody who has a billion dollars that's going to buy this from you. I don't buy it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You don't think there's like countries that would pay you a billion dollars for a device that controlled all the satellites? Uh, maybe you don't think you could get a billion dollars. I take it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, just if if she would have said, "Well, he's a good man." Fine, I could believe that. Like he's a criminal, but he has good intentions. Yeah. But the fact that she's straight, he's an amazing man. Yeah. Was that was too much for me? I said this is so stupid. Yeah, I didn't. I don't understand the turn with him because. In the first movie, Vin Diesel being kind of the patriarchal figure, the like the the father uh, right. of the family, whatever you want to call it, made sense, right? Like he was like the tough, strong one. He was like the one who he was the best racer. Like all that stuff was like, all right, yeah, I can buy that. I see that. I see why people would hang out with you. But then, like you have Brian in this one being like. Man, let me go. Let me go back to the prison, and I, I, I'm gonna figure out what happened with Letty. Like he's like begging, begging him almost. You know what I'm saying? Like almost like he was the Godfather. Yeah. And it's like just he like needs permission. Yeah, and it's like when did that happen? Why did that happen? Who is Vin Diesel in this world that people respect he's him probably. so much? Like I get where they're like, it's like they should be more like brothers, not like he's the the father and we're all his kids like that's a weird a weird thing but whatever it's because he's an amazing man he is amazing uh post credit scene movie wraps up here's the problem and it's funny i meant to talk about this when we talked about tokyo grift drift (laughs) (laughs) feels like uh, this whole thing is a grift (laughs) but there's a scene that i hated and they just happen to show it again during this chase right yeah we're talking and we were already talking about in this movie how people are way too close to these people drifting. Yeah. They're they're driving through the streets and there's that scene where they're coming up to like a the, super busy, crowded, packed intersection street. Yeah. And how all the people start parting 
when the cars are coming. Yeah. But they're not parting like straight. They are parting in a curve to accommodate <laughs> a drift. <laughs> As if they knew that's what was coming. It was so stupid. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah. we all got to move in this perfect curve. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, because they don't, not everyone gets out of the road, right? Like, had yeah. they decided to go straight, they would have just these, plowed through. I wanted to people. see one of two different ways. I wanted to see people like part like straight, like the Red Sea, yeah. and these guys still drift <laughs> anyways and drift into half the crowd. Or I want to mm. see the crowd part into a drift and the cars just keep going straight <laughs> either oh, way man. it was so so dumb yeah no you're right oh gosh but, but anyways we find out that owen shaw no <laughs> we find out that um what just happened in my brain what's his name jason statham statham uh, jason. which now i'm assuming is related to Shaw. Yeah, sorry about that. He I don't even care. <laughs> he's Owen Shaw's brother. Uh, oh, okay. Is chasing Han down side roads, which how would he ever I don't I don't know. I hate that here's another thing that I hate in movies mm-hmm. and TV shows is when people cause an accident like intentionally, like they, they broadside him. I that the timing of that would be so insane. Right, yeah. I get like if you're like sitting there waiting for them to go by, and then you like Sorry. pull out in front of them. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that. What were we saying? Um, you hate when shows have an intentional the accident. Timing. Yeah, the timing is got to be so insane. Yeah, not only because I can get like if you knew the guy was coming, I think you're he waiting was... there in a the side road, right? And then you like pull out in front of him. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But the the speed that these guys hit to from such far him. off, there's no way you knew. There's no way because well, you're in between two buildings. Oh, it's just so I, I hate it. It's so I, stupid. I think he had like a tracking device on him, didn't he? I, I don't know. Did he? I don't know. It's just so impractical for me. It is. I've tried I mean, it. That's and the whole. I always had the wrong <laughs> car. Um. But he also, he leaves behind that dumb cross, which is another thing that Justin Lin talked about how it was like, yeah, this was in the first movie and like, it just kind of became like Vin Diesel's thing. I was like, well, you just, you, there's never been importance to it until it was like, oh, this is so important because it's something that's been connected and it's just. Yeah, I don't know. It's really dumb. So great. The one thing that I was hoping w- couldn't make these movies any worse has happened. What's up? And it's Jason Statham. <laughs> Jason Statham makes this better. I swear, if I find out like in the next movie that they're adding like Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> I will die. Um, Kurt Russell's in one of them. Okay, I'm okay with Kurt Russell. I'm trying to think. I think that's it. I don't think there's anyone else that's like big name was kurt did kurt russell go broke is that why (laughs) i don't know why is is he doing this um but yeah that's uh fast and furious six he says he says uh toretto you don't know who i am but you're about to because i just (laughs) killed your friend eight years after he fled to tokyo (laughs) You better come here and race the new Drift King. <laughs> seven, seven will wrap up or like tie together everything that was going on. I I wish the whole thing would just wrap up and be done. Well, seven is in the middle of seven. Paul Walker in real life died. He had an accident okay. and they have to retrofit a lot of things and they use his brother's. As to stand in, right? st- stand ins, and they like take some of their facial features and like do CGI to make it all work. And it's actually, they do a pretty good job at saying goodbye to Paul Walker. Like it's a really good tribute at the end. I think. Uh-huh. I think seven. How can I say this without really like giving away Ready? too much? Uh, you won't believe how strong Vin Diesel is. Oh boy. There's a moment 
That is just so crazy. And is it the airplane one that you keep talking about? No, that's an eight. I, I can't wait for that. That's my favorite scene of any movie. But oh my gosh. There's a moment in uh, a parking garage and you, you be, your mind will be blown when this does happens. He, does he pull a Samson and pull the thing down on top of him? Almost. Also, I want to talk about how he survives the plane crash. Who knows? He dri- Well, he drives through the front of the plane, but then his car tumbles and then he gets out of the plane or out of the car. They're all, everyone's looking on worried and then he just walks, walks out, out and we're like oh of course thank god um yeah that was fast and fierce six i was surprised how little i liked it um i don't remember it being so bad but it was pretty bad yeah all of these movies have sucked i cannot believe i watched six of them already. two more taylor almost done it's not almost done they're making 30 of them they already said <laughs> well there's still only two more right now We'll move on. We'll go on to the next thing. But I was thinking, um, I'll talk to you after we're done. But uh, yeah, so if you want to check out our our review of Fast and Furious 7, you can go to Patreon right now. For a dollar, you get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. So there should be seven and eight, I believe, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um, But yeah, thanks for listening. We'll be back next week.